Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 55 on SQL Injection. Now, in this lesson, we're going to tell you what happens when you open up your system. You put a language inside of a language. And uh, we're going to discuss what the problem is and why it occurs. And then we're going to talk about how to fix it, mostly. Okay? Uh, what is SQL Injection, by the way? It is a technique that exploits uh, security vulnerability, and that's kind of a very vague term. Basically, is an instance of a more general vulnerability, and that's when you uh, are in programming or scripting language, and you embed a one scripting language inside of another, and that's what happens with SQL. Basically, you've got an engine, and you're putting pretty much a query inside of that engine, and uh, one of the big deal about SQL is that it uses quotes as functions. And so let's just take a look and examine an SQL statement real quick. We'll go back to one of our previous Eclipse programs. And in this program, we're actually looking at the authentication program. And in the authentication program, we have a where statement uh, that basically looks for a password and username. But notice that within that where statement, these quotes right here are acting as functions. So if I put a quote in the username or in the password, then that's going to see that not as a text but as a function. So what I actually need to do, uh, one of the main security issues is basically to escape quotes. Now, if you go to Wikipedia, you can find an introduction to SQL vulnerabilities. But also, anywhere on the web, if you type in SQL, you can actually see a number of SQL problems that occur. So we won't spend a lot of time talking about that. So go to the web, type in SQL injection, and a ton of articles will come up. And the nightmare stories of people who've had or experienced SQL injection. Now, it can be anything mild from someone injecting and being able to surf back and look at people's users' name and passwords. And that's actually what happened with Blackboard, uh, the uh, content management system there actually was a famous SQL injection where actually someone was able to inject a combination of quotes and uh, other functional uh, items and actually step back and see all the users in the system. Other type of injections are even more lethal. You may have a competitive company, for example, that may be looking at your system see if it's vulnerable to SQL injection and actually be able to delete all the tables and inventory items that you have in your system. So you've got to be very careful that you actually make sure you escape quotes. That's the first thing. There's other special characters you need to escape as well. So there's a bit of reading that I have in here. Here's one example of an SQL injection. And what you're able to do with this is actually get it to set equal to 1. And what it's saying is it does this uh, search through the user's table. Uh, whenever you get a correct username, it gives you a 1, and it'll give you the password back or let you in. So basically what's happening in this particular injection, uh, you're just guessing names. You finally guess 1, and you don't have to worry about cracking a password. You just have to get someone's username. And you might even be able to ask somebody, hey, what's your username? Or you may be able to guess it pretty well. Some, many times uh, people use combinations or emails use combinations of the employees' names. And so you may be easily able to get in and grab an employee's record using just a very simple injection like that. So you can see why it's so important, for example, to protect um, your system from SQL injection. And just a simple escaping quotes would have actually done that for you here. And we're going to explain what that means. Let's go to Eclipse right now. So we are in PHP Eclipse, and I want to tell you this quote issue uh, as a functional in SQL has been such an issue that... Uh, PHP decided a few years ago, around PHP 4, I believe, that they would actually fix this by creating something called magic quotes. And magic quotes actually, if you had it turned on, automatically added uh, escapes to your uh, system and so that you were safe from uh, SQL injection. However, this turned out to be more of a problem than it was. It actually created a security hole as well. So you got to be careful about your fixes sometimes. And so you actually don't want to use magic quotes. So let's go to... Uh, PHP Info, and I'm actually going to show you uh, an example of magic quotes. Let me turn this on right here so you can see PHP Info. I'm going to run this real quick here. And here's my PHP Info, and I'm going to come along here and see if my magic quotes are turned on or off. And you can see right here, right in PHP Info, there is magic quotes. And in this particular case, it's turned off, and it should be. You don't want it turned on. But you may be working with a PHP system that actually does have magic quotes turned on, and you actually want to get rid of those. And so I'm going to write a function here, a method to allow me to escape my quotes and also to get rid of those magic quotes, for example. So the first thing I do in my particular function that I'm going to write, I'm going to create a prepare statement that I'll actually use later on uh, in a series. But uh, here's what I'm going to do is just create this little handler. It's going to tell me if it has magic quotes or not. So get magic quotes GPC tells me if the magic quotes are on or not. And if they're on, then I want to run a method called strip slashes. It'll just basically remove all the slashes. Now when I'm talking about slashes, I'm actually talking about backslashes. So when you have a quote, uh, for example, and you want to get rid of 
the effects of that quote, you can see a quote right here that would act as a functional in the SQL query string, then you actually want to escape it with a backslash, and that's actually what you want to do as well in your database as well. So if you store any type of text strings in your database, you actually want to escape those quotes with uh, the backslashes. And there's other functional strings as well you want to uh, look at. So the first thing I want to do, I want to check and see if magic quotes are on, and that's a bad thing. So I'll just uh, come along here and strip the slashes off. And then I'm going to use my real escape uh, string, my SQLI real escape string. Got to check the connection and then put in the value that's going to have escape. Now, if quotes are not on, then I can just right, go right here and create this escaped right here. So basically what I'm going to use as my escape string mechanism is what's called my SQLI underscore real underscore escape underscore string. And I have to put in the connection link and also have to put the value that I'm going to be escaping. And so we're actually going to run this very simple right here. And we're going to print out the escape value and we're actually going to uh, strip the slashes so you can actually get it back. So once you bring it back from the database, if you leave the slashes in, it's going to look weird. So you want to strip the slashes off. And so that's pretty much all there is to this. And uh, it's pretty simple, right? But you'd be surprised how many people don't use it. And when you don't use it, you're vulnerable. And you may really be very sad. So let's go ahead and run the uh, method. I'm just going to call this uh, the uh, SQL inject is the name of the class right here. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing in the config file. I'm actually connecting to my database. So I do have a connection to put in the uh, escape method. And I'm going to come along here and... Uh, create a method that's going to actually grab the uh, text that I want to escape and here's the uh, uh, the uh, link and here's the value to be escaped and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just declare that as a class and I'm going to basically put this string in the method that I want to escape the quotes from so the string says quotes my dogs names are many quote 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 I hope you let me in one divided by zero. Now, if you're familiar with uh, this one divided by zero, that gives you an error, and there's a certain amount of time involved with that return. Time how long that return takes, and that'll give you information of uh, if your methods are working or not within your SQL injection. So uh, just be aware there's tons of tricks, much more than just uh, quoting involved here. So it's a, it's, a, it's a great area to learn a lot about and, and, and muster up on. So let's go and run this and see if I can get rid of those quotes. And when I do, there's uh, everything escaped, as you see, it's all forward. And then I'm going to, in a sense, store that in the database, you might think, and then I want to bring it back. And when I bring it back, I strip the slashes off, and I get back the original string. So let's take a look at the documentation on the web for MySQL LI real escape string and see what it actually does for us. So this documentation actually comes from the web, and you're going to, what does uh, my SQL improved real escape screen do for you? Well, it escapes special characters, but not all of them. Just basically null ASCII uh, 20 backslash n backslash r backslash also escape uh, single quotes, double quotes, and control z. But that's not all the special characters are. There are more. And if you want to escape those, you actually need to write your own escape code. And at the bottom here, I just have an example, a real simple example of uh, escaping uh, the percentage sign and the underscore sign, which are actually functionals with the like statement. So you have to take a look at your code, but once again, consult the web, and, and you'll get a lot more reference than I gave you here. This is basically just an introduction. And at a minimum, you basically need to be escaping those uh, quotes. And that's exactly what the MySQLI real escape string is going to do for you. But keep in mind, this is only a minimum of uh, the uh, security that you need. So what did we learn today? Actually, we learned uh, what a SQL injection was uh, um, and why and how to fix the problem mostly. You could actually do a whole video series just on SQL injection, and it would be fun because you could talk about all the nightmares that people have experienced. Uh, but basically, it's really just basic as a vulnerability that uh, comes when you actually put a scripting language inside of a scripting language. You embed it one inside of the other. And uh, the vulnerabilities occur because uh, an example of quotes for SQL, they're functionals. So if you actually mess around with those functionals, you can get your uh, query to do s special things like move backwards, delete entire records, uh, give you past uh, words, and so forth. So it is a very powerful uh, um, vulnerability, so you want to make sure that you're at least that you're escaping your quotes. And look at those special characters and build code to do that as well. So after that, we went to PHP Eclipse and told you about magic quotes and that you want to have that turned off. And if not, gave you a method for escaping those. And we showed you the MySQLI real escape string, which you want to definitely incorporate in uh, just as a basic security measure. But you have a lot more work you need to do with SQL injection. So make sure you study that and become an expert on that and avoid that vulnerability in the future. So thanks for listening. This is Mike Lively, and I'll see you next time.